One thing that blew me away yeah. about you, and maybe I'll let you, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you share some of your quote twenty percent with us. Um, yeah, Mo, I think my twenty percent really is well. Most people that know me know I'm an extrovert. I don't yeah. think it's a it's a hidden secret. I thrive on getting to know people, talking to people, spending time with people. What that means is it's both professional and also in a social setting. In fact, I thrive more in a social setting. You know, I, I love EDM music. I love dancing. Okay, let's stop that. Let's take a step back. <laughs> when you first said EDM, I kept thinking, is he talking EBM, EBM? I said, no, we all like EBM. And then I, just, I said, no, no, no. He's saying EDM. Again, for our audience who are not EDM literate, what is that? It's electro dance music. Okay. It's this loud music. <laughs> It's and it's With all about beats. the drop, right? That's it's all about, right. I didn't know what you were talking about yeah. until I was visiting a colleague of mine, a friend, Viata Hansen, and we were in Davos, Switzerland. And we were we're having a meeting, a retreat to figure out of all things. Here we go. I'm gonna uh, about you know what's the next thing? What are the big ideas coming from? And how can we, through being out in a pretty inspiring place, think about what where we all go next? There's about four or five of us. We're all meeting from various parts of the world. That being said. We end up at this hut that she says, in you know, in Davos in the in the ski hills, just this place is where the kids hang out. I said, okay, well, already there's no way I'm going to hang out. I mean, this is, it's not going to work. We go there, and all you hear is doom, 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 doom. I'm going, what is going on there? <laughs> Hundreds of people at three thousand meters. Yes, that community. Yeah, I did not appreciate until yeah. the last three months of my life. Yes, as a very special community. What is it about that community that drives you? Yeah, you know, I think it's it's that music where it's that beat. It's that free flow of expressing myself through dance. Most yes. people know when I dance, I do squats. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a regular exercise. Yeah, it's hard on my knees. and I got, I got, a, I hope Baz is still in practice when I need my knees. But, you know, it's, it's, it's that. For yeah. me, it's just expressing myself through big beats and music and just freely move movement of my body in whatever yeah. way it's not but it's, it's not it might not be very elegant for people to watch but the thing i noticed was anywhere from 15 year olds 16 year olds to what I easily look like 75 80 year olds there was zero judgment in that group yeah. there was a general welcoming because you know we yeah. were new to this and they're coming in and say come on come on come yeah. on we'll get a picture we'll get this yeah. it was just this community yeah. and i guess that gets back to all the communities right every area of interest i think most of us have there is a unique community and probably part of the community is what drives us you know, to being part of that special culture that may be. Um, and that in itself is really interesting to me. You know, to me, I, I, I always loved that music. I always loved dancing, but yeah. I never realized it's, it's that form till a group of friends, you know, call it again, middle age, um, wanted to go to this place in Belgium called Tomorrowland. It's the okay. biggest EDM festival. Right. I got invited to that thanks to them. And that's where I think I found, oh my God, like I... I just got into a zone and, you know, I was myself or like a little kid really feeling like, look, I wish I'd done more of this. And the other thing I love is just being outdoors, yeah. outdoors, going for a walk or a run just in the woods. And, you know, as you know, Vancouver is very conducive Vancouver's for something like that. For that. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I, I love doing that and I don't do enough of it. And the other thing that I, I'd love to do now, this is this is future. Yeah. Even though my good friend bought me a guitar, uh, Tony Cooper, for my one of my birthdays, which I've not put to good use, but that's something this 2022 that I'd love to start taking some guitar lessons. It's stuff that I, you know, it's a childhood dream of mine yeah. to play guitar. I never played, and so I'm definitely looking forward to exploring that. Well, I know a drummer who can help you out, my friend. So as soon as you I get know as soon a drummer, as you, yeah. as soon as you get that guitar humming. <laughs> And get, I mean, is this electric guitar or is it acoustic? You know, it's acoustic to start okay. with. Okay. And but then you, probably you, I'll you see how far, how far Marshall I will go. Stack, yeah. You're going to be ready to go. <laughs> and I have... I have, I have, I have a drummer for you, my friend. That and, I, you know, we'll get together. And maybe we'll jam together one day. <laughs> we, that's going to be one of our things to do. That's amazing. Listen, we could talk and talk and talk. Um, I'm just grateful that we had a chance to catch up, and we're going to continue this discussion a couple of days as you hit the stage at the Canadian Orthopedic Association. And I guess we should get you back to talk about what's next. 